Day 21. Yeah. Let's begin with some Shakespeare. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. It's Juliet, wasn't it? She famously asked that question in Shakespeare's tale of star-crossed <laughs> lovers. When it comes to love, according to Juliet, whether Montague or capital, it shouldn't make any difference. Romeo's name is meaningless when it comes to the question of love. What's in a name? Sometimes not much. A choice of name for a new baby might reflect nothing more than personal preference. But at other times, maybe great care is taken to include a family name or the giving of a, a name of a, a family member or friend particularly precious and in our thoughts. So what about when it comes to the name of Jesus? Is it meaningless? Is it nothing more than personal preference? Well, let's read the message that the angels brought uh, to Mary. Luke chapter 1, verse 30 and 31. The angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. So here is Mary, and we're told that she's found favour with God, and she's visited by an angel. And notice, it's the angel who delivers the name of Jesus. When the God-man is born, it's God the Father's intention that he be known by the world as Jesus. Why that name? Well, the name Jesus means God saves. So here is God announcing by the angels that Jesus, his son, will take a crucial place in the big story of redemption. From the time of Adam and Eve, a saviour had been promised. One who would defeat the powers of, of Satan and sin and of darkness. One who would establish the kingdom of God. Uh, just as Joshua in the Old Testament, and, and Joshua also means God saves, just as Joshua was chosen by God to lead the people of God in victory into their promised land, so Jesus is sent for his people to win a victory for them at the cross. So that by faith in Jesus, we have a promised land to look forward to. Uh, not a, a, a little piece of, of real estate in the Middle East. Our promised land is nothing less than eternal glory. Perfect physical life in a newly restored world with Jesus himself at the centre as king is the great hope of the Christian faith. What's in Jesus' name? It's the hope that God's saviour and God's salvation has come. It's in your salvation. Is he your saviour? Is he your hope and joy this Advent season? Well, if not, let me uh, invite you to come to him in faith. And if he is, let's enjoy and worship together.